education is a huge amount, huge percentage of our state budget. Um, is that the answer, just to increase the spending? How do you find that balance to increase the quality, the outcome of our education system? Well, one, parents want to be able to have more say, so they want to know what their kids are learning, what mm -hmm. they're being taught. And a lot of parents discovered through a lot of the when, when there was the things being taught online, they were shocked mm -hmm. at some of the things they were seeing right. and some of the things they weren't seeing. The other thing parents were very concerned about was, if you look at, for example, like all of your charter schools and your, your private schools, they continue, those students continue going to school when a lot of the traditional public schools were shut down. Mm -hmm. There was no difference in terms of, you know, negative health outcomes for students or for teachers uh, between, you know, the traditional schools and, and the private schools and the charter schools, et cetera. But you know what there was a big difference in? That is the outcome for these students. These kids that were out of school all of this time, stuck at home learning, you know, maybe they had broadband access, maybe they didn't, but they weren't in the classroom. Those children are behind. We put additional resources into summer school to try to get them caught up. That still hasn't quite worked. So we need to continue to invest there, but we also need to understand that if, you, if, if a parent has a child in the school system that simply is not uh, getting the job done, they need to have that opportunity. They need to have that choice because education at the end of the day is about making sure that student receives the education that they need to be able to grow and thrive and survive.